me like <laughs> why am i laughing i've been laughing non-stop today oh who oh, breathe in breathe out oh. Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to part two of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. So, in the previous part, we had Valentina sign up with the Paragons, and we actually got in. So, you know, we're we're pretty official. Just saying. <laughs> Little do they know we are we're coming for them, so that should be interesting. And I think when we do like pretty much overrule <laughs> the Paragons, I kind of want to change the direction of the Paragons. In a sense, in a way, you guys will see what I'll do with it because I think I think the message I'm gonna send with it's gonna be pretty special to me. But um, I actually want to show you guys the neighborhood that we're living in. I uh, bulldozed a house right here because I was like, I want to live in this area because it is so gorgeous. I'm 100% like a city girl. I love when things are moving and bustling and people are everywhere. I don't know. I'm like into that scene. Always have been. So we are like in the city of um, Windenburg. Uh, so I think it's really neat what they did. Like, hey, hey, honey, how are you? If you're new to my channel, then you probably don't know. I love old people like more than I love anything. So that makes me really happy. And yeah, yes, fashion on fleek. Those fedoras are so in right now. So I'm living for it. But over here we have like one of these, um, is this chess or checkers? I don't know. Never was really into either or. I think this is checkers right here. And it's made out of grass. Well, hedges. How freaking cool is that? And then over here, um, what I love about this is you can actually walk all the way out here and be in front of like the library or in front of a cafe right here, which we're going to because I'm obsessed with food and especially obsessed with coffee and the new coffee in this game just really does something to me. It, it really toots my horn. Toots my horn. What? Okay, same. That could be taken many ways. But over here you have like a fishing area and it's so freaking pretty. I actually saw a comment saying, I feel like they did something with the water to make it look a little bit nicer. And I agree. I think the pool water for one looks so much better. And also just the towns in general. There's also natural pools added, uh, which I'll eventually show you guys, but I can't really afford it right now. So we're going to go fertilize our bush since we don't have a toilet. Get in there. And just kind of see her squatting. <laughs> We've all done it. We've all done it. And if you haven't, well, congratulations. Your parents really, uh, you know, took care of you as a kid. Because there's a few times where we've had to pull over. And I I've had to go in some pretty weird places. Just saying. Just saying. But yeah, that's pretty much her fertilizing. She's been in there for a while. And, um... As you can see, it now reeks. <laughs> I should make her go nap in it now? That's actually a really cute idea. Like, hey, let's go piss in a bush and then nap in it. That sounds, like, awesome. Okay, but unfortunately, Sabrina has to be the adult in this situation and get a job. Like, I know this sucks. I don't want her to get a job, but we do absolutely need one. So, you know, if you want to continue eating, it's probably a good idea. We are just going to get her into, I guess, the entertainment career since she wants to follow the DJ path. It's probably a good idea. It just really sucks because I would prefer for her not to work, but um, it's either that or I could just have her sit at home all day and make paintings, which I'm not sure. It's like, do I take this and earn my simoleons this way? It's like, what does one do? I guess we're just going to take the entertainer career for now. But eventually, I would love for her to not um, to not work. <laughs> but yeah, she's going to resume making her grilled cheese sandwiches. Tonight, we are going to go to the lounge with her. She wants to order a drink at the lounge, which there are new drinks and new food selections for when you're at the bar. And they are so cute. I cannot wait to show you guys. Um, but here, over here, we have Valentina actually working on her... Uh, or playing the Don't Wake the Llama game. And as you can see, she has a tense mood lip because the llama almost fell from playing Don't Wake the Llama. Close call, that wobbly pile of kindling is no match for Valentina's steady, beastly hands. My hands are like E.T.'s hands. The more you know. She's going to go ahead and practice a little bit, I suppose. Um, get really, really good at it so she can, like, outshine everybody. That seems like something the Paragons would do, you know? Actually, that sounds very... Oh! 
at her eyes. That is one big eye. Jeez. She's like, did I just do that? <laughs> is there a new mood lit now? Because she... Oh, now she feels fine. That makes complete sense. But yeah, this actually seems like something the avant-garde would be very into is this game right here. But it is 5 p.m., so we are going to be heading to the lounge pretty soon. Um, I guess Valentina will head to bed early since she does have school tomorrow, and that should be interesting. Um, she actually is doing pretty good in her lifetime aspiration for just starting this Let's Play. She has spent four hours with the Paragons and has performed ten club activities. And I decided with Sabrina, we are going to have her join the DJing um, club once she can qualify for it, the Spin Masters, because, you know, why not? We're going to be like really super professional, okay? We have to qualify to be in this one. That is so <laughs> quite intense. Um, but in here, we have Dominic. Oh, he's actually part of the Spin Masters and the Good Timers. That's what we'll do. That's a really good idea. We will apply for the Spin Timers and probably also the Good Timers so we can kind of get the most about... Same. That's like all I hear when I speak. But... We are going to sign up for the Spin Masters and the Good Timers. He's kind of getting the best of both worlds, you know. He gets to release his creativity and his passion, the Spin Masters, but also go clubbing and have a good time with the Good Timers. So it's a really good idea. And we're definitely going to be doing that. Um, okay, so the requirements are to have a level 2 plus in DJ mixing and dancing. And uh, they like to use the DJ booth and dance. So this seems right up our alley, but we're going to sign up with the good timers. It says, congratulations, Sabrina was accepted into the good timers. What? Oh, wow. This really isn't exclusive whatsoever. This is no paragon. Welcome to the good timers. I'm happy that you've decided to join our club. We're having a club gathering and would love for you to come by and introduce yourself to the group. We're all heading to the Shrieking Llama. The bar is the perfect place for a get-together. Do you want to come? Well, I just made my sandwich, but hey, I'm always down for a good time, guys. So yeah, we will head to the um, Shrieking Llama, which is a bar. I do want to head to the lounge as well, but uh, hey, we'll start the night early, go meet up with the good timers, and then head to the lounge. All right, let's introduce ourselves to everybody. Who who are we dealing with here? Oh my gosh. I'm so glad Wolverine could make it. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty good looking older man. Okay, I would not mind like saying hello to him. Maybe a little bit more than hello. His name is Jaquez. Mm, very cool he's in the good timers and also the knights of the hedge so he does cosplay in his knight's outfit good to know here we have mila munch she is a part of the good timers and also the upper crust so she is you know she's into her food a little bit same here girl same and then here we have dominic and he is in the spin timers cool yeah he's the one that's in both so we'll be seeing a lot of him um he's actually the leader of the spin timers or the spin masters so we will definitely need to get a little close to him since we're going to be in both groups. And then here we have Bijon, Bijon, Virginia, blah, blah. Probably saying that so wrong. We'll just call him B. He's B. Okay, guys. He is a part of the Good Timers and also the Garden Gnomes. And he is the ruler, the Queen B of the Good Timers. So, I mean, I guess we can get close to him if we wanted to, but whatever. So we have a couple of new moodlets. I'm sorry that I'm doing so much talking and not so much playing. We are scoping the scene from the dance machine tray. Your sim is checking out the hot spots at the venue, and the hot spots look good. Cool. And she's just happy that she's with the club. So let's head in. Here's the shrieking llama, guys. How cute is this building? It is <gasps> that is so pretty. What the hell? <laughs> Why is that so pretty? Is there any cool scenic? <gasps> There's the sheep, guys. Here is the sheep. I'm freaking. I'm freaking. Look at this one. He's the only one moving. And he's moving away from all, all of them. Oh, no. He's coming back. He's like, wait up, guys. I'm coming back. Just give me a sec. How cute are those? Very, very scenic here. Like, unbelievably gorgeous. Compared to the other worlds, 
Windenburg stomps stomps them. There's like no competition. But here we are at the bar. There are some new drinks, which is awesome. Ew, why is Eliza Pancakes making my drink? I actually feel pretty attacked right now. Just saying. So we are going to go ahead and order some new food. And this is where I freak out. We have a bowl of olives. What? A bowl of olives? Love olives. Like I eat them every day. We have bread rolls, currywurst, fish and chips, french fries, meat and cheese platter, which sounds so delectable. Pita and hummus tapas, also some so, so yummy pretzels and also chips. Um, we are going to order. Oh, this is hard. This is very hard. I guess a meat and cheese platter. That sounds pretty good. All right, Eliza. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. And it's a huge serving for 10 simoleons. Are you kidding me? Come on, guys, let's eat. Come on, good timers. Oh, this looks unbelievably good. <laughs> that is the sort of food that I just, I freak out over. Like little cheese platters. and Oh, oh. Look at these two. They're hitting on each other. Kind of thinking about woohoo and stuff. I have a feeling she's a part. Oh, she's a powerhouse in an upper crust. Okay, cool. But um, we definitely need to chit-chat with our group a little bit. They're um, all over the place, actually. <laughs> what do we do in this group? Like, what do they like to do for fun? They like to play pub games and also drink bar drinks. Okay, cool. So I would like for all of us to play together. Oh, my gosh. Are they making out over there? <laughs> B and that chick are just making out. Look at this. She was just flirting with the other guy. Dude, what what group are you in? What what group is she in that they just like make out with everybody? Cause I think we all know a chick that or dude that actually belongs in this group. You know, no shade, no shade. Do what you do, but I feel like we all know one. Just saying. I know a few. <laughs> Yikes. But um yeah, I guess she's just feeling very flirty tonight. Clara, she's doing her thing. But we're going to head over here and play Don't Wake the Llama with the crew for a little bit. Oh, and she's saying, that was a fairly tasty dish. I'm sure it was. Looked so yummy. But here they are. And um, you definitely need to get close with Dominic. Oh, no. Her first attempt. Look how cute she looks, though. She Actually, she looks a little scary there, but... It's all good. It's all good. Dominic is just like, yeah, that's right. He's actually really cute. I, I wouldn't mind them maybe dating. I don't know. I think they would be really cute together. But yeah, they are living it up right now. I like how I'm like, they are living it up. Like they're at a club or something. They're playing Don't Wake the Llama. <laughs> hey, honey, how are you? I very much love you. Just saying. I don't know why, but I really do love him but uh, we're gonna definitely be ending this soon because i wanted to head to the club in this part and not just the bar but before we do that i would love to go ahead and uh i guess talk to dominic a little bit oh my gosh i totally forgot that the shrieking llama um they actually do like themed nights you guys so there will be like singles night and I don't know, bear night where people will show up in bear costumes and obviously the singles will be here. Tonight, it's guys night, yes. So gentlemen sims can saunter up to the bar for discount drinks. How awesome is that? I don't know, I think it just adds a little bit of personality to the whole game. I really enjoy that, but yeah, we're just going to um, praise the good times leader, I suppose, because he's right there, kind of schmooze our way up with him a little bit. We're also going to ask him if he's single, just because I think they'd be really cute together. And we will uh, talk with the latest party. I like how she's waiting, like, please, can we can we speak? All right, come on, buddy. We're, we're trying to hit it off with you, and you are, um, you know, you're doing this to us. All right, let's call him over. Come on. Oh my gosh, get outside, go. 
Come on, guys. Let's get outside. Okay, just go over there and we'll talk to him now. We're just gonna ask him if he's single. You know, some basic things. Talk about the latest party. Oh, he's married! To, me, to Moira? Who, who is that? <laughs> he's married. He's, he said, yeah, I'm married, and then walked away. Okay. I guess. Well, in that case, we will be back. And I keep seeing this guy just, like, running around the whole place. I'm a little scared, to be honest. But we are going to go ahead and travel once again. And we're not going to head with our group. We're actually just going to leave them. That way we can maybe venture off and possibly meet some... Like, maybe this is the way I look at it. Yes. Having your friends in the group are fantastic. But I think you should have at least, like, one really good close friend outside of it all if that makes any sense I don't know I just think that that's kind of important like in high school and stuff um I always said you know I have like my school friends but then I have like my friends at home I don't know is that weird maybe it is weird but um we are gonna head over to the lounge where is the lounge there is I believe that's the shrieking llama right there um we definitely have to head to the bluffs one of these days. It is so gorgeous. Uh, here's the nightclub. Another bar. Here's a nightclub. Here's the cafe that I'm like dying to go into. Over here is the Von Haunt estate, which I'm going to do a whole part just on the Von Haunt estate because I'm into creepy things like that. It's going to be so fun to narrate. But I guess um, we'll just head to the nightclub right here instead. All right. All right let's go. And here we are. So once again, this is just absolutely gorgeous. We're surrounded by a waterfront. We're right by the pool. Yep. We're right by the pool and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And this is actually a coffee house right here. Look how cute this is. It is so like hip and just trendy and I love it. But this location seriously is to die for. Like over here, um, you have some cherry blossoms, which cherry blossom leaves actually fall off of the trees. It is so, so pretty. Of course, you just have everything just so scenic over here. Um, we have like a kid's playground, which is very city-like and modern, which I adore. And then you just have like a really nice skyline backdrop back there. I don't know. It's just really pretty. Like I said, I'm a city girl, so I kind of kind of live for stuff like that. But ooh, here we have like a legitimate DJ, you guys. Look at this. Yes. Bumpin'. Yes. This, she, she's wearing our jacket. Like, this is our future right here. Legitimately our future. Whoa, this is creepy. We'll just say it's her. We'll say it's Sabrina. Nobody has to know it's not. But yes, we are going to dance a little bit because we do enjoy dancing. And I would like to improve our dancing skill a little bit. There are new dances, which is awesome. As you can see, she acquired the dance skill and it says Sabrina is busting some moves. She has unlocked some new dance moves and she can now show off the arm charm dance move on the dance floor as her skill increases from dancing to a stereo or a dj booth or whatever whatever she will gain more moves she can actually practice in front of a mirror how cute is that but as you can see they are they're getting you know some different dance moves in which is really cool and it's him again oh my gosh first of all i was talk i was not talking about <laughs> what's his name again dominic yeah, I was not talking about Dominic. I was talking about him. I was like, whoa, he follows us. But hey, here's Dominic. And he looks quite nice. It's like he's following us. Is it meant to be? Maybe. Oh my gosh, so glad I could make it. Oh! Very cool. And as you can see, she's very energized from this electrifying dance. All right, we are going to, oh, what is this? She's acquired the DJ mixing skill, even though we haven't touched a DJ booth yet. Okay, that, where's the logic in that? Sabrina is now a DJ. She can continue to practice spinning and gain skill to unlock more possibilities. But here she is, she's getting it right now. She's feeling herself. <laughs> she's, she's loving it. <gasps> we can have a dance battle, can we? Oh my gosh, let's have a dance battle with Camden? 
Yes, Camden, let's go, buddy. Me and you. He's he's about to become my best friend. Camden, me and you. On the dance floor. Now. And Eliza pancakes too. <laughs> this honestly reminds me of the scene in White Chicks where um Terrell Williams and everything. He has his uh glow sticks on with the whistle. Oh, if I was ever to get into a dance battle, you best believe I would have glow sticks and a whistle. Best believe. But yeah, dance battle time. Let's go. Polo. Palo. Palo Roca. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> he is fine. He's in the party house and the powerhouse. He's really pretty. <laughs> um, I don't really see Sabrina dating him, but I could see Valentina dating him. Even though he's a young adult, she'll eventually age up or maybe I'll get a mod or something so they can date because he's so beautiful. <laughs> like, legitimately, probably the prettiest sim I've seen yet that we uh, have received with the expansion packs and such. But yeah, they both suck. Why even have a dance battle if neither of you can dance? Oh! It's getting intense back here. Look at them holding up their phones. Because the DJ is so good. Oh, the nightlife is so alive in this game. I, I don't think I'm doing it justice in this part, but oh, look at him. He's like... Do you see him? He's, he's checking somebody out. Oh, well, I'm going to do an interaction with him just so I can have him. We'll eventually be able to hit him up. Yeah, it's very cool. She wants to introduce herself to how many Sims? Introduce herself to 10 Sims. Okay, that's exactly what we're going to do because I would love to throw like some really intense parties. So we're just going to introduce ourselves to a few of these Sims here. Donald Therio's like, and I'm out. And they're just like, okay, yeah, bye. Literally, like, waving goodbye. Adios. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do a funny interaction with him, a funny interaction with him. And, um, I guess, Eliza. Guess. But then we're gonna head upstairs and get ourselves a drink. Um, yeah, let's order a new drink. We can order our favorite drink now. How cute is that? I'm thinking maybe if you order a drink enough times, then maybe you can order your favorite drink. We're just going to click it to see what our favorite drink is. That way, every time we come to the bar, I'll end up getting at least one of our favorite drinks. But yeah, we're just going to introduce ourselves a little bit. He's clearly a little juiced. But everybody's having a good time and the nightlife is so alive. I love it. Okay, Eliza's flirty. You have a husband. Go home to him. She's like, oh, hi. I'm Sabrina. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Eliza. That's all I'm getting from this. I'm a freak. But, um... All right, we're leaving Eliza. We're going upstairs. We're getting a little tired and we definitely have to use the restroom so we're gonna just grab a drink drink it and then probably head home I, i'm pretty happy with how the night went we met some of our fellow group members and i got to show you guys the nightlife just a little bit because it is so awesome oh. don't ask i don't know guys you know exactly what i'm talking about right now and i don't know <laughs> i don't know but yeah, let's see what our favorite drink would technically be. Are you serious? No, no. You can you can pee yourself now. Yes. Go order our favorite drink. You'll go to the bathroom in just one second because I want to find a bush for you to use. But I want to see what our favorite drink is. Just wait it out. Don't be impatient. Just just wait a second, honey. We got this. No, no, no. Put the toilet away. Oh, my, okay, okay. All right, you win. You win. The bathroom is all the way downstairs, too. 
lovely. So downstairs here is actually the Spin Master's private room, which is very, very cool. We can allow access to, you know, the Good Timer members, but um, we can attempt a secret knock. We could unlock it or lock door for certain people, but in here is pretty much where um, if you qualify for the Spin Masters, you can actually come here and, you know, dance and such, which is really cool. I, I like that, that they have, like, a private room at, like, the hottest DJ place in the town. Did Eliza just try to go to the bathroom with us? We're not that close, honey. Oh, oh! Why? What did, what did we do to you, B? B, what did we do to you? Just because you're, you know... The leader of the group. Does does that mean you can walk in on us while we are clearly not peeing? <laughs> this is awkward. I don't appreciate this whatsoever. Yeah, that's right. You walked in on us. Oh, I'm recording my screen. Let's take that off. Anyways, like I said, we're heading upstairs. We're getting our freaking drink. And then we are calling it a night. Oh, there's um an upstairs. Didn't even notice. They have some more restrooms and some like little lounge chairs and stuff which is always nice but yeah we're going to just grab our drink now because i'm dying to know what our favorite drink is gonna be ah what madeleine schultz skill is not high enough to make our favorite drink oh my goodness what i want to do to this girl right now what i want to do all right, well, I guess we will wait to find out what our favorite drink is then because I'm really curious to know and I don't want to order a drink until we can order our favorite drink. But yes, the club is bumping. It is so live. Dominic's over here dancing like a champ. So we're just going to come over here really quickly and um, I guess compliment his appearance a little bit and just flirt a little bit. Oh. Oostoos, ugh. The, audi the audience is just not feeling the beat. Maybe some more DJ skill is needed. All right. I would say they're feeling it. Look look at this. Don Lothario. Okay. <laughs> Paolo and also Travis are all thinking about Woohoo at the same time. Honestly, Paolo is reminding me of like a younger hotter version of Don Lothario, even though they're like the same age. I don't know why. I just see Don Lothario as being like super old. I don't know why. Why? Maybe because he's been in like so many generations of The Sims. I just see him as a little bit older, but Paolo is just good looking. <laughs> oh, he's... <gasps> Dominic is totally... Oh my gosh, he literally said, uh-uh. He's side-eyeing us right now. This is awkward. <laughs> well, we know our place with that man. All right. Well, that just tells me that he's a good guy. He's married. He's not accepting our, I guess, flirtatious acts, which in, in a way is, I guess, kind of a good thing because he's loyal to his wife. We're just gonna have to schmooze our way up with him and really woo him <laughs> eventually but yes in the next part i would love to i don't know invite paolo over because i think he's so gorgeous and he reminds me of paolo from the lizzie mcguire movie also the coffee house absolutely a must in the next part has to happen um and yeah i will see you all in the next part i love you all so very very much don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i love you and i will see you all next time bye guys